Hi there! So this is just a few items I got at Akihabara, the local electronics district in Tokyo. And this time around, it's not the usual junk parts that I got. These are actually new, except for... And I guess this is new as well, but it's kind of sold as being junk, because they don't have any warranty of any kind. Anyway, the interesting thing about these two Toshiba SD cards are that if you look at the writing on here, it's actually in Chinese. I'll get to that in a second. And this one over here, which happens to have the same thank you sticker as these two, but I actually bought this in a different store, is a really tiny hard drive. It's actually a micro drive. Let's take a look at that first. Go ahead and open up the thank you sticker. And here's the actual item. It's a micro drive. So yeah, I looked at the model number of this hard drive and I was pretty sure it wasn't an IBM micro drive, but it actually happened to be a Hitachi micro drive. So basically this micro drive was built after IBM sold its hard drive business to Hitachi. So I was thinking about actually taking a look inside and taking it apart because this will be kind of interesting to see how they actually fit a hard drive in this compact flash size form factor. So I'll be actually taking it apart this time, but let's actually take a look inside. Oh yes, yeah, so you can see that I bought this for 500 yen, which is less than 5 US dollars. And you can see that it's still in its original moisture barrier bag. Anti-static, I suppose. I'm kind of curious when this is built, but according to the information I found, it was first introduced back in 2005, so it's possibly that old. Let's open up this bag and see how long this hard drive has been sitting in there. So, open it up and see what it's inside. There's a little silica gel. So here it is. This is the micro drive. I just covered up the serial number, but this is actually a parallel ATA or IDE interface drive, but it actually has a interesting, possibly proprietary, but it's this um, connector that you don't really see very often. I tried looking for hints of manufacturer dates on this thing, but I really couldn't find any, so I can't really tell when this is built, but you can see that this is a real small form factor, and gee, is this going to be really easy to take apart? Not quite sure. Oh yeah, there's a couple of screws up here that we can probably take off and hopefully disassemble this hard drive. Alright, so that's one thing we can expect to play with in the coming weeks. So I wanted to mention some historical background behind this hard drive. Around the early 2000s and the late 1990s, was around the time when mp3 players started to become popular and people started amassing bigger mp3 collections and they wanted to carry them around and so there was a lot of mp3 players out there that some were using cd-rom drives some were using was it smart media cards and some were using compact flash cards etc etc but the problem was that the flash cards at the time were mostly 64 megabytes 128 megabytes at the very beginning in the late 90s it was like 8 megabytes and such but at that time, micro drives were the ones that were able to actually give high capacity for a relatively low price. I can't quite remember the sizes at the time, but they were literally a few hundred megabytes, but they were a lot bigger than what flash drives were able to achieve at the time. But eventually, flash got a lot, lot bigger and a lot, lot cheaper. So these micro drives, you really don't see these around these days. This is a little historical note of the kind of storage mediums you had back in the day. So it would be very interesting to see what kind of techniques they use to fit a hard drive into this very, very tiny form factor. But we'll be taking a look inside of this in another day. All right, here's a couple of Toshiba SD cards. And I guess I'll get this thank you sticker out of the way. This. And uh, this as well. Yeah, the reason there were thank you stickers on here were because they usually just stuff everything into like a plastic bag, but I really didn't want one because I you end up getting like a pile of these at home, so it just gets in the way and don't want to throw it away and it's a waste. It's not earth friendly, blah, 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 blah. I'll just take it as is without a bag and what they usually do is just put like a sticker on there so they know that it's been sold. So that basically that's what that thank you sticker is for. As I mentioned earlier, this... Toshiba SD card is interesting because of its packaging. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can understand, but this is actually in Chinese. I forgot what this said in English, but I think it said like the inventor of flash memory or something. Well, anyway, what I wanted to mention was that this is actually a 
Toshiba SD card made for the Chinese market, but it's actually being sold in Japan. So basically, you can't get the kind of warranties and such from Toshiba in Japan, but it's a little bit cheaper than the ones that you can get here. I usually just get um, uh, flashcards from like Transcend and other brands that are a little bit cheaper, but if you're aware of it, Toshiba's financial situations have been really, really, really bad. I believe they've been doing some funny stuff with their accounting, and they've been having a really bad past year or two. And in addition to that, while their accounting and financial situations are really bad, Westinghouse, which basically does nuclear plant construction and such in the U.S., um, they actually went bankrupt. So what happened was that the Toshiba main company in Japan had to pretty much write it off and they ended up with a big, big gaping hole in their financials. Toshiba's been suffering in terms of trying to sell consumer electronics and things like that, so they were in serious trouble, except for their memory production, which was in pretty good shape. So what they ended up doing in their infinite wisdom was to basically come up with a plan to spin off their memory division and make it into a separate company and call it Toshiba Memory and hope that they could find someone that would buy that company so that Toshiba, the main company itself, can get all that cash flow to, you know, fill up that gaping hole in their financials. So in the next few years, probably Toshiba Memory is going to start changing quite a bit. So I thought, eh, just as a keepsake, I'll get some Toshiba memory just because, oh, I just happen to need it for a digital camera I'm using over here, and I also wanted to put it into my smartphone as well. So I actually got a micro SD card and a regular SDHC card. A little bit of an interesting thing here is that for the normal SDHC card, I ended up getting like um, the, I think it was a UHS-3 standard super fast one, and this card is actually made in Japan, and let's see, let's see, let's see, it should say that, oh, here, um, yeah, in Chinese it says, made in Japan. Meanwhile, for the micro SD card I wanted to put into my smartphone, I really didn't care about how fast it was, I just wanted to get something cheap, and I think this was less than 1,000 yen, which is about 9 US dollars or something like that. This one is actually made in Taiwan, as you can see right over there. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It may be that in the factory in Japan, they're producing memory chips that are like a gener like the highest generation thing that they're able to make. And it may be that they're making their, not the leading edge generation of memory chips in their factory in Taiwan. That's pretty much what I have for today. If you like this video, appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and I will be taking this micro drive apart in a future video. So if you'd like to be notified, Please subscribe to my channel and there should be like a little bell mark next to that subscribe button. So click that button and you should be getting notifications when I upload new videos. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to reply to things from the knowledge I have. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.